G'day and welcome to Show Me Down Under. It's a Monday. I'm Doug and today we're going to shave with a top end soap. And it's from the Chiseled Face Company. And this is their limited release, I believe. And excuse my pronunciation, but I think it's McCork. I went on online and there was found three different um, pronunciations. So I'm going to go with McCork. It's an interesting um, soap. So I don't know if you can hear that, it's a heavy glass jar with a plastic top. Show you inside. It's like a lemon sorbet type colour inside. And a really nice exotic scent. So I'll give you some of the um, notes for the uh, scents. So the top notes, there's cedar, green apple, red mandarin. And the heart notes, there are frankincense, galbanum, which I should have Googled to see what that was. Um, honey, rosewood, uh, lang lang, and jasmine tea. And the base notes are cedar moss, green tea, white oud, and synthetic musk. And I reckon I can get the cedar and the green apple in there. Uh, maybe the frankincense and red, uh, the rosewood, sorry. There is a bit of a slightly rose nose to it. And I think they are Lang Lang, but some of the others oh, I just can't get. But anyway, it smells fantastic. And I'm pretty excited about this. I'm teaming it up with this bad boy. Now this, I've got two of these. This is the one I'm going to be using for shaving. And I, I did buy another in its uh, case and, and everything like that. And is in such good condition I just don't want to shave with it so I, I bought a second one and and this is in pretty good nick as well I got this last week I think it was so I'm going to give it a crack I'm going to have the setting on five like I would a fat boy or my executive and um, yeah let's check it out okay let's get into it so here we go got the leather going so lathered up really easy and it does smell great. Let's lather it up good. Here we go, my virgin shave with the toggle. So back in the day, the toggle was the king of the castle. Now, for a while, I always thought the Fat Boy Executive was the number one. And when I did a little bit, I took paid more attention, I should say. I realised it. Because I thought the toggle was released before the Fat Boy. And this did a couple of years, and then they... And then they did the fat boy and the executive. But looking through old advertisements, that's the word I want. 
That's where I discovered that they were sold at the same time and the toggle was the top of the tree and more expensive. And this has given me a good shave. Feels good. This soap feels good. I like a soap where you can still smell, smell it while it's on your face. And that's what I can do with this one. It's not overpowering, it's just there. You know, just you can just if you want to smell it, you can smell it. Cut there, that's that people don't get it what that's all about. Anyway, so I got up early this morning and watched the second half of the Brighton uh, v Tottenham Hotspur, or it's the other way around, it was uh, Tottenham's home game. And unfortunately, we went down 2 1. But the second half, we seem to play pretty good. The old Spur boys love the dive. I couldn't believe it. Just, they'd hit the deck with the slightest bit of contact. I thought they were better than that. Haven't heard from my Spurs, mate. The rubber chicken. But I'm sure he'll be texting me sometime this morning. Giving me some grief. Don't worry, I'll dish it back. Yeah, this stuff smells great. It ain't exactly cheap though, people. Ah. I haven't tried the, the base range of the chiseled face because I know a lot of um, reviewers have reviewed them. So that wasn't really the reason why I went for it. For these, because uh, I bought the three of them. I thought, why not? And I'm glad I did. And I'm pretty certain if you go out on the limb and purchase one for yourself, you won't regret it. Great scent, great lather.
Oh yeah, I am using the Derby blade that I used on Friday in here. In case you're wondering what blade I'm using. Not too bad. I could really break down the scent to a real basic. I would say what I can smell is like a real woody citrusy or that acidic green apple, which is probably the best way to put it. it that's really can really smell that. That is there. That is real. And uh, the, they're the predominant the real basic predominant notes coming through to me. You've got to remember, my nose is far from fine-tuned. But I can tell you, it does, and I've been repeating myself here, it smells really good. Had a king sized dwarf come to the shop last week trying to scam me. These people, if then they can walk in to an experienced retailer and try and pull the wool over my eyes, come on.
tell you what, I can't, I've got to get back onto these uh, vintage blades because these new blades are cutting me up. It's shocking. Samaritan. It doesn't help swapping razors all the time. I think this calls for a drastic action. Go on the old Allen block, the Osmo one. Don't pull this out too often. A little bit of a tickle on the neck there. Remember people, don't rub the block on your lips. Like I say, this is really good stuff. Chiseled face, they make good soaps. So if you've got a bit of spare cash, have a look at this range. There's three different ones to choose from. I'll do the other two in the, over the next couple of months. So this was a beef tallow. Quick uh, ingredients, uh, steric acid, aloe vera juice, beef tallow, oil from coconut, castor and avocado, uh, mango butter and silk powder. So it smells great. It lathers really easy. It, Feels good on your face. This is um, it's five gold stars. This is really good stuff. And, and if you have plenty of money or got got some cash for whatever reason, look out for one of these. These are pretty cool. You can get some. You just got to hunt around. They they do pop up regularly on eBay, and some are in better shape than others. Buy one that's in decent shape. That's all I can say. Unless you get a really bad one cheap and then you can send it off somewhere to get it uh, fixed up. Okay, I've got a really huge shave coming up on Friday that I hope you'll find really interesting. Uh, it's going to be a cracker. I just cannot wait to get into it. And I won't be using a Gillette at all, but a very old Art Deco razor that I was lucky to get hold of. Okay, enjoy your Monday, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao!